Yeah, John Mozalek was uh, a very busy guy along with his staff. So you guys pick up 10 players before the trade deadline and took it all the way up to the end. First, a lot of pitchers in the mix that you guys picked up a lot of prospects overall in terms of what you got back. What's your thought on what you guys have uh, put in the bank here? Well, if you think back to what our original strategy was, is we talked about getting pitching, pitching, pitching. And when you're going through this process, obviously you don't want to shortchange yourself. You don't want to overlook position player prospects in this process. But I do think the ability to get some higher level pitching, pitching that we should be able to see sometime as soon as this year and, and possibly um, next year will make an impact on this club. And I think that was really one of the underarching goals, if you will, of what we were trying to accomplish. You guys took it down to the wire before trading Jack Flaherty uh, to the Orioles. Did you know you were going to get that done or was it really last minute? Uh, there was a lot of balls in the air, and and there, there's a lot of, of processes that have to go through. Like, once you agree on talent, then you have to go through some medical, and, and there's a lot of details that get into it. But, yeah, it, it did get down to the wire, and I, I think a lot of us upstairs were getting a little nervous. Without going too in-depth with the guys you got back in the Flaherty deal, Flaherty to Baltimore, Prieto, a uh, infielder. You got back uh, Showalter, a, a pitcher along with Rom, another pitcher. Just your thoughts on that group. Well, so one of the things that we were trying to do, and I think we, we've talked a lot about it here in the last, last uh, this past season, is a lot about that sort of swing and miss versus pitching to contact. And so one of the things that we were trying to look at in this process was trying to find some more swing and miss um, in the pitchers that we we're trying to attract. Now, we did get a couple guys that are ground ball machines, so they sort of fit the more traditional model. but. Of the five, we think we actually, of the seven, two or more ground ball. The other five have a little more swing and miss. Is there one or two of the prospects you guys picked up that maybe you're looking at more as a guy who can help sooner than later? Well, I think King, which is here today. And and I think like sort of the more high-end side of things is somebody like a Roby. So we'll just see how things play out. I think a lot has happened in the last 72 hours. I think we have to take a step back, digest it allow these guys get to our minor league teams and see how the, how they really look. So fans that are looking ahead to next season, 2024, thinking about that starting rotation, you guys have three slots in there. So how do you address that, or do you think potentially some of these guys could be part of that mix? Yeah, I think it's a little early to determine who's going to fill that, what that's going to look like. Do we think there's some candidates in that? Of course. I think what we really did was add a lot of pitching depth to our system. And so we'll allow that to play out. But we still know there's work to do. We still know we're probably going to have to be active on the free agent market. Um, we certainly want to get back to winning. We don't want to have to relive this anytime soon. So we certainly understand the challenges moving forward. All right, we're going to move past the trade stuff. Brendan Donovan had been dealing with an arm issue, hadn't been able to play defense in quite some time. You guys uh, have decided surgery now. Can you give us a thought process there? Well, I, I think he really wanted to have a normal off season or as normal as you can after a surgery, but most importantly, be prepared for the beginning of spring training. He didn't want to be rehabbing through spring training. And so to accomplish that, he had to do that surgery now. Last thing, Tommy Edmond back with the club. That's good news. I think fans want to know potentially when will we see Mason win? Yeah, it's a big question and, and a fair question. Um, obviously, he's playing really well right now at Memphis. That's great. I think we just want to sort of settle into what we have right now, see how that works. But it wouldn't surprise me at some point this year to see him. Mo, job well done. You got a lot of prospects. Hopefully, they pan out. I know you put in a lot of work. What's next? Maybe 12 hours sleep or what? You know, I, I do hope things slow down, but it's sort of funny, right? We still have six-game homestand, so it's uh, baseball, baseball, baseball. As always, thanks for the time. Thank you, Jimmy. All right, guys, John Mazzaloc.